Welcome to Piedmont's Arbor Day celebration. We are delighted that you are joining us in celebrating Piedmont's beautiful urban forest. Today, you will see 19 of the most spectacular trees or collection of trees that have been designated as Piedmont Heritage Trees. You will hear from Zach Parisa, a Piedmont resident who will talk about our urban forest, carbon sequestration, and how each of us can help manage the climate changes well underway and you will see Arbor Day sidewalk chalk art created by some of Piedmont's finest young artists. Hello, I'm Cameron Wolf. And I'm Susan Herrick. And independently of each other, we each nominated this tree to be the first heritage tree for the city of Piedmont appropriate because it is a sequoia sempervirens, probably the most significant tree in California, better known as the coastal or California redwood. The tree uh, first served as a community holiday greeting tree in the early 1970s. This tree really has a remarkable history in that it has had uh, many, many generations of children and now adults who have come here to celebrate the, the holiday season um, and light the lights on this beautiful tree. And Cameron and I both felt it had such a significance in the history of our beautiful city. Hi, my name is Jim Horner. I'm on the Piedmont Park Commission, and I nominated these poplar trees, the Highland poplars behind me, because they're really an important aesthetic contribution to the city. They uh, frame the etc. And the, these 10 trees were uh, hybridized in uh, Colorado and brought here. And I think it's amusing that they're Highland poplars right on Highland Avenue. So enjoy the trees. They provide a wonderful winter scrim of uh, lacework branches. And in the summertime, billowing green leaves. In the fall, they drop yellow leaves uh, that are all, also quite fun. Hi, my name's Lyle Gordon. I nominated these Don Redwood trees to be Piedmont heritage trees. I thought they were really interesting as one of the three types of conifers that lose their needles in the fall and get them back in the spring. Hi, I'm Betsy Goodman. I nominated this tree four years ago when the Heritage Tree Program was just started. I asked Dave Frankel, what is the most beautiful tree in Piedmont? And we both agreed that it was this tree. This is a southern magnolia. It's magnificent with arching camber and it is evergreen with beautiful white blossoms. It is definitely worthy of being a heritage tree in this city. Thank you. Hi, this is Jim Horner again from the Piedmont Park Commission. I'm standing in front of a cluster of eastern redbud trees in full bloom. Uh, this is their prime time. Uh, these trees are at the entrance to Piedmont Park and at the top of the stairs to Witter Field. They were nominated twice actually by Lisa Corraldo, uh, who has since moved, to, uh, moved away, but I'm standing in for her. These trees have beautiful fall color and uh, are a wonderful uh, entry point marker for the park and the high school. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cindy Rafton. I nominated this big redwood tree. It marked the entrance to the Ransom Bridge Girls School, which opened in 1913. I love this big tree. I look at it every day from my kitchen window. <laughs> I'm eight years old 
These are my brothers, Finn and Max. They're almost six. Next to me is a coast live oak, um, but we call it the climbing tree. We love to climb it with our friends. Bye. Hi, my name is Bobby Stair, and along with Mark Anaya, who works for the Public Works Department Planning and Building, we have nominated these four fabulous Himalayan dogwoods, whose uh, botanical name is Cornus capitata. They are spectacular because they're evergreen, stately, and in the spring when they produce these fabulous flowers that are cream-colored large and they cover practically the entire tree, they're real showstoppers. And they're so um, lovely that the City Hall has had to keep a card at the front desk with the name and the information on them so that people have that when they come to stop in and ask about them. So I think they're fabulous trees. Hi, I'm Gail Lombardi and I nominated this grove of Coast Redwoods in 2019 as my Heritage Tree nomination. The official name for Coast Redwoods is Sequoia sempervirens. This is Nova Triangle between Wildwood and Magnolia, and there are 18 redwood trees here. It's a quiet forest-like respite between two busy streets going to and from Grand Avenue. Pedestrians, dog walkers, and residents can come in here and experience a sense of quiet and calm. Nearby houses also look out and enjoy the greenery. This small redwood grove is an excellent example of how redwood trees grow. Their roots are shallow and they like to grow close together where they can intertwine their roots. Uh, it gives them strength in high winds. There's also a source of water um, nearby from Bushydale Creek in Piedmont Park. There are three much larger redwood trees here that may date back to the early 1800s. The triangle dates back to 1913 when Nova Piedmont Residential Tract was developed and real estate ads emphasized its park-like qualities. If you're ever walking in this neighborhood, I hope you'll come in and enjoy the serenity these trees give. We can all imagine a tree that has played a starring role in one of our own stories. It might be the tree that you climbed as a child, or the tree that sits outside your office window, or perhaps a tree that was planted in memory of someone you loved. But your special tree offers even more. Zach Parisa, founder of Sylvia Terra, reminds us of just that. Happy Arbor Day. I'm Zach Parisa, and I actually just moved to Piedmont a couple of months ago with my wife Claire, and while I'm new to the community, she actually grew up here, uh, so in a sense, it's a bit of a homecoming. Um, I'm a forester, which means that I focus on the ecology and economics of trees and forests, uh, or how they benefit our community and how they interact with the natural world. So when we think about trees and forests, most people think about a national park or some wilderness that's really far from here, but actually, the trees in our yards, in our parks, and along our streets make up the urban forest of Piedmont. And the forest of Piedmont does so much more and provides so many more benefits than just make this a beautiful place to live. Our trees provide an immense amount of benefits. They create shade that helps keep our homes cool in the summer, privacy that makes our yards and streets feel cozy and intimate. They help control stormwater by pumping up water with their roots. They dampen traffic noise, helping make our homes and streets calm and quiet. They provide habitat for wildlife like migratory birds, butterflies, squirrels, Skunks, uh, as I found out uh, just last week, um, really all sorts of things. And as we begin to understand the challenges we face with climate change, another important benefit that trees provide is their ability to remove carbon dioxide from the air. Tree leaves and needles basically breathe in carbon dioxide from the air around us and combine it with the water it pulls up from the ground with its roots and sun that hits their leaves in a process called photosynthesis. The result is simple sugars that trees convert into wood that make up the trunks, branches, and twigs. So when you hold a piece of wood, a dry piece of wood like this one, actually half of the weight of what you're holding is carbon that a tree pulled out of the air. Uh, so to put that in perspective, driving a gasoline-powered car 
for one year emits about the equivalent amount of CO2 as is held in a large tree like this one. Nationally, our forests absorb about 10% of the CO2 that we all emit. Piedmont's urban forest is a small but important part of our national and global forests that provides so many benefits for us, and every tree has a role to play. Some trees remain small like dogwoods, while others are huge like redwoods. Some keep their needles in the winter while others drop them uh, in the fall. So while the urban forest provides all of the benefits that I mentioned overall, each tree provides different benefits in different proportions. Its diversity is part of its strength. The forests we have today in Piedmont, in California, in the US, and globally are the legacy of decisions that have been made by so many people that came before us. Decisions to plant a tree, or tend one, or give space to other trees. And so in the same way, the decisions that we make today are going to shape the forest of the future. So as we celebrate Arbor Day, I hope that you'll take the time to get out, maybe plant a tree, or at least take a walk in your favorite park uh, along the street, or maybe just sit in your yard and appreciate the benefits of the trees and urban forest of Piedmont. Happy Arbor Day. Hi, I'm Eileen Ruby. I chose to nominate this beautiful Japanese maple because I walk by it all the time and it's beautiful in every season. It's beautiful now in the spring when it's budding and in the summer when it's in full green foliage and in the fall when the leaves turn red and even in the winter when it doesn't have leaves, it has beautiful branches and a beautiful shape and it's situated perfectly at the entrance to the Japanese tea house. I'm Valerie Matsker and I'm standing in for Nancy McHugh who nominated the long cherry, we call it the cherry walk, all the way through the park and all the way around that side of the tea house. They're Akabono cherries, cherry yodoensis Akabono, and many of them have been uh, planted in memory of someone who lived in Piedmont or not, but so a loved person who passed away. So you'll see tags on these trees as you go along acknowledging who they're honoring. And uh, these, this actually, this cherry walk was nominated before in 2018 by Sandra Napel, but this year we're just getting around to making it official. Hi, we're Tammy and Mark Becker, and we have the great good fortune of living here on the borders of Dracaena Park. And we nominated this Coast Live Oak because it's phenomenal and it's a California native and we just really enjoy its presence here in Dracaena Park. Yeah, and this tree is really important. We've lived across the street for 27 years and this tree has been an anchor to this park and the Dracaena lawn and the improvements that the city made to the lawn uh, helped preserve this tree even better, more so now. Hi, I'm Bob McBain. I'm standing in for Park Commissioner Brian Mahaney, who nominated this tree as a heritage tree this year. This is a Magnolia grandiflora, better known as a Magnolia tree. It's a beautiful tree, and it takes an ordinary traffic medium like we have here and turns it into something very spectacular in our town. So next time you drive by and coming up Hampton, please take a look. It's a beautiful tree. Hi, I'm Jennifer Marinelli, and this is my mom, Lori, and this is my husband, James, and we are standing in a Fairview Triangle full of redwoods and a dogwood tree. As you can see, they're doing terrific. They are all bought by people in the neighboring area for memories of their loved ones. And as you can see, with the help from Piedmont as well, this park is thriving for many years to come, and it'll always be remembered. Hi, my name is Peter Fischel. My wife Alicia and I have lived in Piedmont for 35 plus years. We are so pleased that our nomination for the Birch Grove 
uh, in the hall. Um, the hall Fenway has been selected as for heritage tree status. Absolutely thrilled. Uh, these trees are incredibly beautiful all year round. They have a very delicate structure to them. And then of course they have the beautiful white bark that really sets them apart from everything else. Uh, during Celtic times, these trees had, uh, were very important. Uh, the Beltran Festival, which is now known as May Day. It was the first uh, wood used for the Maypole. Yeah, these trees are known to have a protective influence uh, and the, the, their incredible internal strength is incredibly lovely all year round. So thank you so much. Hi, my name is Betsy Goodman and I have nominated this grove of redwood trees. There are seven of them and it's on the edge of the Linda Beach play field. And it was a beautiful grove of trees that my daughters and I and my husband watched and we participated in. There used to be swings here, but it's now forming a beautiful edge to the potential um, playground that will be next to the bridge. And there's um, another family that's also nominated this, this group of trees. And I'll introduce Sophia and John Ware. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sophia. My dad, John Ware, and I nominated this grove of redwoods for the heritage tree nomination. These trees hold special significance to me because when I was young, I used to come and climb them. I hope that now they're heritage trees, they'll be protected for years to come so that other children can come climb them as well. Hi, my name is Calvin Landis. I'm here representing Dave Frankel, Piedmont's former public works supervisor. He nominated this Yulon Magnolia Tree Community Hall, which he planted over 20 years himself. It is a spectacular tree in early spring with white flowers, and it is often part of civic and private celebrations. Hi, I'm Lyle. I nominated this big leaf maple, Acer Macrophyllum, to be a Piedmont heritage tree. True to its name, it has the biggest leaves of any maple tree, and it's native to the west coast of North America. Hello, my name is Marge Blackwell, and we are thrilled to have this beautiful bay laurel tree in Blair Park designated as a heritage tree. Nobody knows how old this tree is or how it got here. It was probably as a seed dropped by a bird 80 or 90 years ago. But we do know that it is a member of the species called Umbelolaria californica, which is the only species of bay laurel that's left in California. So this is a living piece of our natural history. It, the Native Americans used to roast the nuts from this tree for food and they made poultices from its leaves for everything from rheumatism to colds. Hi, I'm Christy Van Slyke and again we're very grateful for the recognition of this beautiful bay laurel. Our hope is that this will bring more uh, recognition and appreciation for this park and the large family of trees that support wildlife and that includes mammals, insects, and a large number of species of birds. In addition, we want to emphasize the important role of these trees uh, in this natural area in fighting the climate crisis. In fact, this bay laurel alone sequesters about 550 pounds of CO2 every year. So thank you again, and please come and visit our friends.
It is a long-standing tradition to plant a tree on Arbor Day. This year, the city will be planting a tree honoring the life of Ralston Louie, a Piedmont High School graduate who passed away unexpectedly this year. The commemorative tree is the Yulon Magnolia and will be located in Dracena Park. Thank you for joining us. Please continue to visit the city website if you would like to learn more about the heritage trees. An interactive map of all 19 trees is forthcoming. Thank you.